Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today we'll be looking at parallel perpendicular lines. We'll see how to define them, find equations of parallel lines, define perpendicular, and find equations of perpendicular lines. Let's get started. All right, here I'm letting you know that line one is parallel to line two. That means that they do not intersect. And the only way that's gonna happen is if the slope of my first line is equal to the slope of the second line, okay? So their slopes are always the same. So for things to be parallel, their slopes must be equal to each other and they have to have different y-intercepts. If they had the same y-intercept, then this line would be on top of this one and then they would be intersecting everywhere. So same slopes, different intercepts. All right, here they're asking us if line one is parallel to line two. Now remember, their slopes have to be the same. The easiest way for me to know what their slopes are is to move them into slope intercept form. Like that, I'm looking at their slope right away. So remember, you want it to look like this. Y equals MX plus B, and this is what you're looking for. You're looking for your slope. So let me work with that first line. Um, I noticed that my X and my Y are in the same side, so I'm gonna get rid of that 2x. So 3y equals minus 2x plus six, divide by three, and y is equal to negative two over three x plus two. So this is my slope. Now I'll do the same thing for the second line. Move that four x over, and this is six y equals 4x, sorry, minus 4x. Divide by 6, that's y equals negative 4 over 6x, but this can be simplified. This can be simplified into negative 2 over 3x. And look, same slope, different y-intercepts. This y-intercept is 0. So there, yes, these two lines are parallel. There. All right, here they're asking us to find the line with this point to negative three, and they want to be parallel to a different line. In this case, two x plus y equals six. So remember, we need to know the slope, and we'll be using this point. First, let's find out what slope we need to use. So using the line that they gave us, I'm gonna write it over in y equals mx plus b form, in slope intercept form. So to do that, I'll subtract 2x from both sides, and I get y equals negative 2x plus 6. So now I know my slope. My slope has to be negative 2. So look at all the information I have. I have a slope and a point, a point and a slope, a point and a slope, point slope form. I'm going to use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. See, point, slope. So, let's go ahead and substitute what we know. We know that, that's my x, that's my y1. So we know that it's y minus negative three equals my slope that I worked out times x minus x1. Okay. Most likely you, They'll want it in slope intercept form. Um, but if that's all they want, you can stop here or keep going. I'll keep going just in case. So this says y plus three equals, distributing here, I get negative two x plus four. Move this three over, so minus three, minus three. And my final answer is y equals negative two x plus one. So these two lines, are parallel and it goes through the point that we needed. Let's try some out. All right, go ahead and find a parallel line that goes through these points and is parallel to the given equation. Pause the video and I'm gonna show you the answers in three, two, one. Here are your answers. I hope you got them right. All right, now for perpendicular lines. 
for line one to be perpendicular to line two, they'll intersect once. And where they intersect, they must create a 90 degree angle. This can only happen if their slopes, okay, the formal definition is that the product of their slope, so when you multiply the two slopes, it's equal to negative one. Now, the easier way to see it, at least for me, is that their slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. So this means that the slope of my first one is equal to the reciprocal of the second one as a negative, okay? and vice versa, or m2 is equal to negative 1 over m1. It's a little bit easier to see it with numbers. So for example, if you had your slope to be 5 over 2, your perpendicular line would have negative 2 over 5. Notice that I took the reciprocal and I made it the opposite of whatever it was, okay, and vice versa. Let's go ahead and try some out. All right, just as before, here they're gonna give us a point and say, hey, find a line that's parallel to something else, x plus three y equals six. So remember, the slopes are important, so I'm gonna find the slope of the one I have here. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and move it to slope intercept form, so minus x on both sides, three y, equals negative x plus 6 divide by 3 and y is equal to negative 1 over 3 x plus 6 so this is the slope of this line but remember I won't be using the exact same slope I'm gonna be using the negative reciprocal so negative 1 third is what I have its negative reciprocal would be 3 over 1 Okay, and since this was a negative, this one has to be a positive. Okay, or you could just leave it as three. Okay, now I have a slope and I have a point. So just as before, I'll be using the point slope form. Okay, let me make some room. I know my new slope is three. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Substitute what I have. y minus negative 2 equals 3 times x minus 1. Okay, that's really y plus 2 equals distribute now. 3x minus 3. Move this, uh, leave it as that. If, you, if your teacher lets you or move it over if you need to and y is equal to 3x minus 5. Okay, these are now perpendicular of each other. Your turn. All right, go ahead and find a perpendicular line that goes through the given points and a perpendicular to the given equation. I'm gonna show you the answers in three, two, one. Here are your answers. I hope you got them right. Right. If you would like to see a proof for the criterion of perpendicular lines, go ahead and click here. And that's it for today. Until next time.